Hello Loreheads, and welcome to the League, exploring the League of Legends lore from A to Z. My name is Rebecca. And I'm John. My name is Mark. My name is Sarah. Ah, today we're talking about Viego, who was released January 21st, 2021. And In, it feels like an eternity. It does. And, you know, as you may have <laughs> noticed, we do have a special guest today. Yeah. We, who is it? <laughs> we made a few decisions very early on in this episode one we're not talking about viego sober so <laughs> i'm fine john is smashed we so. pre-gamed all of us <laughs> this we yeah this we uh, john and sarah i think mostly <laughs> and uh second of all we needed something to make this better for us who have already read his shit so many times yes. so we have a special guest who has who knows nothing about Viego. Apparently. So we're going to have some fun games for her today. <laughs> um, also, as a real quick announcement before we jump in, oh. I just wanted to, to let everyone know we did a quick revamp to our, our Patreon tiers. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, we combined our video and audio tier. It used to be like audio for $5, video for 10 We just pushed it all down to the $5 tier because, mm -hmm. you know, we want you all to have... Uh, all the stuff. Access to the videos. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to discontinue our $10 tier, and you can get everything at the $5. And thank you all so much, and we love you. As a friend. But I'm not in love with you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Problems in the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> we were really talking to each other there. <laughs> <laughs> we're besties here. Um, what does Viego sound like? So we were well, thinking. I, mean, I guess first, what does he look like, right? I guess, That's yeah. So first, first mini game. Sarah, who does play League of Legends with us sometimes, I do. Somehow does but, not know, you know what Viego looks like. I don't. You know what? I that's why I uh, in game turned off like what is it? You I don't see summoner names. I oh, only see yeah. the champion mm. names because I don't know what like. Most of the time, I'm so confused by what I'm doing in game that I have no idea who I'm playing against or what's happening. Yeah, we do really almost exclusively all. play A Ram together, so I yeah. feel like that's yeah. more chaotic. And Viego not heavily played in A Ram, I right. guess. So I suppose, yeah. Yeah, so we've got a few pictures up here um, of Viego. Oh, you don't want to start with the voice? Okay, no, no, gonna, no. Okay. We'll do. Okay. Because we're the also going to have you, we're voice. also going to have you do an impression of him without knowing what he sounds like. So I love impressions. All right, <laughs> especially people who I have no idea who the fuck they are. Right? Is he British? <laughs> oh, <'cause> he <laughs> could be. He is now. <laughs> Viego sounds really British. <laughs> so we have uh, a picture okay. of Viego, Set, and Ed okay. Sean here, and um, we want you to pick out who Viego is. Okay, so I gotta go get my. I gotta go get my pictures because I was told about this right before we set up. Oh, yeah, I John had a great my... idea, and then I t I never <laughs> communicated it. Okay, so that's hold on. John in a nutshell, actually, right there. So that's, just that's why I usually end up doing everything myself because I just forget no, to tell people about it. <laughs> okay, I feel it's, like it's my guy's fault. I, here we okay. are. I don't want to ruin. Hey, look, this guy Fieri. Like, feel like I'm gonna do well. <laughs> What's he okay. doing in there? That's fine. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. What's guy Fieri? What's guy Fieri doing in here? Hold on. That's We've guy also added him. guy Fieri. <laughs> this guy Fiora. Okay. Um, okay. Show me a guy. Show me one of your guys. Okay, I'll show you the guys. Okay. Hold on, guys. Okay. Guy number one. Guy one. Okay. Here's guy one. Okay. Now y'all, John and Rebecca can't see this. Guy one has. He's a big, got white hair. Yeah, describe him. He's got a cropped jacket and no shirt, okay. and a large. Uh, sort of ear, ear, glowing, glowing green broadsword. Okay, I love it. <laughs> I like the Yovanid iridescent. And watch <laughs> what else? Okay. Next. Okay, next. Guy number two. This is like the dating game. Da, 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 da. <laughs> he's, okay, he's got, uh, he's flipping, he's upside down. Oh, okay. He okay. looks Middle Eastern. That's got to be Akshon. Next. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you didn't even bother looking at guy three. Who knows what guy three could be? Okay, he looks like a uh, like a like a gang lord of some kind. So, and I think that was set. So it's guy number one. Nice. Oh, damn! Yeah. Look at well her. Done. Well, sleuth. The ruined king. The ruined Once I heard the three that you said, I was like, I remember something vague about those two ones. So. Ah, okay. 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 So, Strong challengers. So, cr 
crop top and platinum hair is, the, yeah. is our guy. Oh, yeah, yes, do you that's song, do you want another, I was uh, expecting him to look like Spanish or something. He, and, this is the, him. Look? And hang out with Dora the Explorer. You want to see him again? Yeah, you want to see him before he's dead? Because he's dead there. Okay. Oh, oh, I oh, he's, the, oh, this is him dead. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't have a, a, a an alive picture of him. He should in a, he that, should have a skin. He has a skin called King Viego. King if Viego. You want to that okay, well, you're going to have to see my bra- my browser. Hold on, because I, I didn't get grab that one. I forgot to do my extra. What, what do you well, have, like, porn there? Why am I not supposed to look at your browser? Oh my God, who knows what could be on there, We right? spoiled that it was oh. King Viego, so, you know, you don't have to, <laughs> if it's not a secret. <laughs> Let's see how he looks. Okay, he's more like this. See, he's okay. He's, okay, he's taking. Oh, hello. Okay. He's taking a knee. Fine. He Christ. looks very uh, like romantic. Yes. Yeah, that's how he that's likes to think thing. of himself too. That is like how that's he likes to think of himself. Word, I like this. Yeah. There you go. Uh, Soak it in. I mean, he looks like purposefully romantic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there he is again. He's dead. He's, okay. So he's dead here. Okay. Uh, okay. Now, if you had so to guess what, what he sounds die? like. That is what okay. happened. Yeah, all of us. So I have a, we decided. I, I thought quote. we were all going to do the same quote. But Mark, if you have a quote put aside, that's totally fine. No, we can all do the same quote. But, but John I and I Sarah were going to do, do first, though, right? um, the one we say the most in game, which is "Where is she?" I wrote so down how two do you, quotes mm-hmm. actually. Yeah, they both say "Where is she, John?" Because apparently he says it. <laughs> he twice. says it twice in two different ways. <laughs> oh, really? two different ways. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't, okay. I assume we were doing it normal. Okay. Do you want to just do? We can just do that. We can just okay. do. Okay. Do you she? want me to go first? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. What do you think? Okay, so I'm thinking he's kind of like a sort of like anime, overly romantic kind of, you know, a, a brooding love interest of some kind. Oh, okay. Maybe not very. A little brooding. tuxedo mask. Is but, that what um, I'm maybe a little tuxedo mask. <laughs> Momoko? No, a newer anime or mm. or like oh. a Final Fantasy or something like that. Um, so he said, "What is it? Where is she?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he says it two different ways. Yeah. Apparently. You have to you only have to do one, you know. And I'm gonna try for two. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> uh so one is gonna be like his lady love is like been kidnapped, right? And he's enraged, but in a romantic way. So he would be like, Where is she? Okay, That's okay. good. Okay. And then another one would be like maybe like Koi. Oh, he be, be a little playful, little, little coquettish <laughs> Diego, <laughs> and he would be like, maybe like, where is she? <laughs> I don't like this Viego. I like that one oh, so no, much. Like he's, so he's a lot more chill. Yeah, he's he's very high and really horny. I he's like, like he's like one. texting. He's like, yeah, if you could like find her or whatever, just have her hit me up on Discord. I don't know. <laughs> My parents are Why gone for the evening. High? Where is she? <sighs> so this he's is just a, very relaxed. This is a quote we make fun of in game all the time because it's so fucking dramatic, and it's one of the only things I really hear him say. It's like when he dashes on I, an enemy or something. And and old, I, I do think. turn down like uh, the volume on that is low in my yeah. game, and I, so I never hear quotes, which is a shame. I need to change it. I'm just it's I'm easily distracted. <laughs> All right, so here's my um, <clears throat> where is she? <laughs> you he does kind of like a. <laughs> you add oh like no, a, that's you add what? like a witch. Sentence. Oh yeah, I do. It's he sounds like, like a, a witch. Where, where is she? <laughs> that's what he sounds like to me. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little witch. Oh, I don't know where you get what? that from. That's what he sounds like. Fucking. I hope. Do it again. I hope that that's not accurate. It's not. Wait, Go ahead, Mark. Okay. Uh, okay. I I didn't plan on this one. I'm trying to remember what he sounds like when he says he says like a. Where is she? Ooh, that ain't coming out right. That was way too loud. Holy like, shit! Look how she? badly I peaked the audio. Oh, you oh popped the mic on that one. <laughs> Maybe back up uh, for the next one. Yeah, we'll back it up. <laughs> We're doing a different mic set. What about like I'll try again. It goes like. Where is she? Uh-huh. That's pretty good. Well, does he have an accent? Yeah, he, he does. does. Yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't. Yeah. Is it a Spanish accent? Yeah, we were Vaguely. like a little hesitant okay. to. Um, okay. I've got. Oh, so these are the two. The okay, he's gonna do the two. Where okay. is she? Oh, that's good. Was the the first one? It's not witchy enough, but it's pretty and then, good. <laughs> and then the other one goes up. It's, it's like, like all of John's accents. It's slightly Irish, but yeah. continue. <laughs> uh, uh, and then the other one goes up more, like a. Where is she? Oh. Interesting. Okay. I don't know. I hear, where is she? <laughs> Every time. Every time. That's what I hear. 
I'm like get nothing, getting nothing about what this guy is like. Oh, well, let's get to it. Uh, oh, really? To my oven, Senna and Lucian. <laughs> okay, so all right, Universe Page, <laughs> you're now peaking the audio. You never do that. Junk John peaks the audio. We gotta back him up. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a bio, two short stories, and then the Roots of Ruin is um linked on his, which obviously Roots of Ruin. Roots of Ruin is like a it's like his family tree there were too many people involved in what was going on with him so riot was like here's a simple cheat sheet for y'all right yeah, here's the cheat sheet now, yeah okay now the let me tell you mm. let me tell y'all so viego is mentioned in 21 <laughs> short stories he's in three or four cinematics he's in a comic mm. he's in a uh, an in-game event and he's in his own Switch game. And a book. And a full-length full novel. There's a Switch game? Yeah. Yes, it's called The, the Ruined, Ruined King. King. Ruined King. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know... Oh, the Ruin- he's The Ruined King? He is yes. The Ruined King. Oh, yeah, by the way, that's the... <laughs> the, t- <laughs> the titular <laughs> Ruined King. She's like, I've heard that. I know How all about his story. ruined? So, <laughs> <laughs> the Ruin Me King. In all the real ways. <laughs> you, know, you know what story he's not even mentioned in? Mm. One of the two linked on his page. Yeah, it's really bananas. I don't really understand it. That is nuts. I didn't think about that. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into his bio, which I don't have sure. notes for, but I don't fucking think I need him at this point. Because <laughs> right. we've done you the story so sleep. As oh, a like- as a listener of this podcast, oh. I refer to Rebecca as Rebecca. I didn't write ni- notes on the bio. <laughs> it does have a ton <laughs> bingo spot. <laughs> it does. <laughs> In my defense, do I need notes for Vieco at this maybe, point? Maybe, maybe not. We'll see after Fuck you give you your synopsis. Not. God, yeah, now true. the pressure's on me, and I've got like a slight buzz. Get your going. scorecards ready. <laughs> Shut up! I don't think people do the bingo card anymore. We need an updated one, right? Yeah. Anyway. Viego was a normal boy in Camivore. Uh, Camivore, if you've never heard of it, it's because they made it up for Viego. <laughs> it's one of those places. Is it like where they eat a lot of camembert? I think so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Viego, uh, you know, was royalty, a prince, but he never expected to become the king because he was like a younger brother. But his brother died, and then suddenly he is now the king. Uh, he's quite a lazy one. He doesn't want to fucking do this shit. <laughs> And then one day, oh, he... they're trying to be—it's trying to be like Camelot, but Spanish. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh my god, I, I did not catch that. So that's... Oh really? No, I'm the dumb <laughs> one, guys. Uh, see, she had to think about it for three minutes. We're on our like 200th episode, and I still have no idea. <laughs> 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 We've been talking about this fucker every week since 2021. <laughs> Camavor, Camelot didn't connect. Anyway. Well, there's no round table. That's why she's here. That's why we bring in these specialists. That's true. Thank you. What shape is his table? I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> triangle, probably. If probably the triangle, hole in his yeah. chest is any indication. That's actually, the, that's, the, that's what the human heart is shaped like, okay? It's a nice, perfectly geometrical triangle. I thought the right? human heart was shaped like a machine that Jennifer Lopez <laughs> danced inside of. <laughs> <laughs> let's just talk about, flowers. Yo, let's talk about that for this Can whole episode. Can we all talk about this as me now instead? <laughs> Because we all got fucking shit faced last night and watched that Jennifer Lopez 60 minute long movie. <laughs> it was great. Anyway, yeah. Viego's the king Counts now. Counts as a feature. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he falls in love with a seamstress one day. He's old. Uh, he loves her. She's so beautiful. And everyone's a little pissed that he just married like this low class woman and, and had no idea. Uh, breezing over their love a little bit <laughs> because we know a little bit more about the relationship now but Viego is obsessed with her so dedicated to this woman will do anything for her and he's such a shit king that people are like let's assassinate him a lot of people they really don't like this guy so one day at dinner they're all just hanging out and a assassin goes to murder Viego. It's deflected. We'll get more on that fucking later a million times because how it's deflected changes a lot. And <laughs> the poisonous dart grazes Isolde's cheek. The poison starts to set in. He's devastated, trying to find a cure, using everything in Camivore, all of the money, all of the riches. He spends all of it. Isolde does die, and he's kind of just in denial about this. And is is still searching for a way to cure her. And then he heals about hears about the Blessed Isles, waters that can heal anything. So he takes his army, they go to the Blessed Isles, 
they uh, fight their way through because they're like, please don't put this dead queen in our <laughs> our lake. In our holy water. Please don't please. put this dead woman in <laughs> our <Corpse>. holy water. <laughs> just a just a little dip. Just a little just bit. A little in and out. Five in minutes. In and out. <laughs> I'll just dip one toe in. I'll take it off real quick. <laughs> 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 they kill their way through. He Your throws homeless. his he throws his dead wife in the the sacred waters. Um, she does. Gives <laughs> her the old hevo. <laughs> what you call her? Oh shit! Don't call Isol the ho. That's so rude. She's stunning and wonderful. Anyway, she does kind of come back uh, briefly as a vengeful wraith, I guess, and then stabs Viego. And then the Blessed Isles all uh, turn to ruin. This is the ruination, the or the heroine. Right. No, the ruination, right? This is the ruination. Yes. God, everything yeah. has such different names. Yes, this is the ruination. And the Blessed Isles became the uh, the uh, the Shadow Isles. Shadow Isles. S- spooky everything. Rocks. Big the Spooky, spooky rocks. rocks. That's spooky right. Rocks. The Spooky Rocks. Everyone there really kind of died, and their spirit is now trapped there in this horrible, horrible mist. And this undeath. This undeath. Viego is gone for a while, it sounds like, and now he has reawakened, and he's just kind of, like, f- solely focused on finding Isolde and, um, you know, still getting her back. He somehow doesn't remember that she is the one who stabbed him in the first place, because she was like, I don't, fucking leave me alone, Viego. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's Viego. Any questions there? Yes, oh, right. Uh Maybe John would know this. Is there like a parallel to the Trisco. the Arthurian Isolde character? Mm. Just curious. Um, not exactly. Mm. I don't. I don't remember the the, yeah, the, it's... the Tristram story very well. But yeah, not. No, not... that's one of the classic romances. It is. Yeah, not not as much. I think uh, Isolde in, <clears throat> in Arthurian was kind of her own. Um, you know. Uh, she was kind of royalty, not necessarily a commoner. And um, right. In fact, I think she was betrothed to someone else and then married Tristram, right? Yeah, I thought he was like higher. She or she was like higher up than Tristram, right? Mm. Way too good for remember. Tristram, if That's you ask fine. me. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, not related. Just kind of curious. They nerds. just really. They just really <laughs> wanted that. That. Uh, Arthurian parallel. Yeah. Except they, yeah. But they didn't name idea. him Arthur. They called him Viego. <laughs> or a version of him. <laughs> or Tristram either. Yeah. <laughs> they call Hecarim Lance a lot. They, just, they really <laughs> fucked up. They, where's. <laughs> there's like, no Galadriel. Yeah. yeah. Which one was. Uh, uh, was it Galahad the Chaste? Which one was the Chaste? I think it was yeah. Galahad. Mm. I only know the Monty Python jokes, so I can't help you. Because but every I mean, time the I Monty type Python Viego, ones were accurate. Yeah. Every time I type Viego into uh, Google or wherever I happen to take notes, it c- recorrects it to Virgo three, <laughs> about three times every time before it finally accepts, like, okay, I guess you're trying to say Viego. I so, I mean, it's kind Viego. of like Galahad. <laughs> So, you know, Wait, we've got why, that connection. Why? Oh, because he would be a virgin. I mm. got you. Yeah. Man, I look, I'm like oh, the transitive stretch. property. <laughs> right. like 10 degrees to, <laughs> to you know, mists of Avalon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one too. Um, yeah, there's some variations of Viego's bio. This is basically it. We do know that. Do you know the champion Callista, Sarah? Does that name ring a bell to you? Um, yes. Yeah. She's the one who yeah. deflected the poison dart because she's like the one who's okay. supposed to protect the king. In the novel, at least. In the novel, at least. <laughs> yeah. Which I I would take more as I would canon take as than canon. anything else. Yeah. 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 Um, it seems like Isolde... <sighs> You know, I imagine she married this man because she probably didn't have any other options. And she's very separated. It seems like Viego was a very, like, emotionally abusive husband in the way he really, like, showered her with love and affection, but, like, isolated her from everyone. She was a seamstress and, like, had a doll for company that she talked to. And one of her uh, soul right. pieces, her soul is, like, divided now into pieces. One of them is in that oh, doll. Oh, that's when- yeah. We'll get there, <laughs> that, but that yeah. Doll. <laughs> yeah, that She's damn doll. Horcruxes. Yes, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's horcruxes, we, basically. What'd you call her? Y'all! <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop it, man. <laughs> Well, you know, it's an interesting point because in the bio here, they just say like, "Oh, she's just a poor seamstress who we met." But I think in the in the novel, they kind of they kind of point out that she was a she was from one of the nations that Camavor had conquered. Yes. So she oh was a, yeah, a, that's one even of the, 
That's in even a more of yeah. being put That's in a corner. That's very and you questionable. Can't, very questionable. Yeah. So this whole relationship is not. It's not a romantic story, like in any me, like by and it would never was a romantic story. But Viego's just they been make deluded. him look so fancy, though. Yeah. Yeah. He oh, very he much fancies himself. Yes, romantic. he thinks it's super romantic and probably still thinks it's romantic. Yeah. But because he has, we, we'll get a bit into this, but I don't <laughs> think we ever talked about this necessarily. But in the in the Ruined King game, we'll get into a little bit about the the memories that he has repressed that are used against oh, him. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's an inter- it's a really interesting thing that I think we to me I never really uh, got about Viego until reading his bio is that he doesn't really have any like his memories are really disjointed. He doesn't really he doesn't remember like what happened really, and he mm. doesn't really seem to even have a proper like understanding of the relationship with his soul. Right. Right. Like he, he he doesn't he's like not in a proper mental state at all even really like it's kind of weird how he's got like video game protagonist amnesia he just doesn't really know what happened he's just like oh uh, I guess I'll find his his soul now I don't know and he thinks he is the protagonist he doesn't realize he's the antagonist the whole time <laughs> the way this guy looked I thought he would be like you know I don't know more of a a goody goody I guess mm. Mm. no he's like the big sure. the big bad in a lot of ways I guess. Um, the yeah. mist is kind of he can control it and use it to like ravage like towns and villages and people can't really fight it with regular weapons you need like special weapons to fight the wraiths that are inside so very yeah very few people have very those few weapons. people have them mm-hmm. um, yeah uh, few notes I have about the bio sure when they inter- very early on in the bio there's the quote <laughs> John that man's name was, was and is Diego, <laughs> which which gave me huge. I used to do drugs. I still do, but I also used to <laughs> energy. <laughs> Some Mitch Hedberg quote, yeah. <laughs> oh, honey. I knew exactly what quote you were gonna say. Like, <laughs> fuck me. Oh. He's got another one that said, uh, and thus one of the most powerful rulers of the age was wed to a peasant girl. And like, y'all literally opened this bio by saying that few knew of the kingdom to the east. You're right. How is he suddenly one of the most powerful rulers of the age? You know, people love a royal wedding. (laughs) That's that's true. I know anything about people. That was all over Nazi and people or whatever. I don't care about any, like, royalty stuff, but I watched, like, the big royal wedding on TV. I don't know why. (laughs) (laughs) When it was done, I woke up and I was in, like, a daze. I didn't know where I'd even been. I was like, why did I know, like, the dress designer? Why did I absorb this information? Uh, You know, this whole bio is written in, like, there's a style to it. It's very, like... Like when you're using words like "thus," you know what I mean. Mm. They don't use the word "thus" a lot in in bios, right? They yeah, cut- it seems like they're trying to elevate it. It's a little more narrative in its writing, which I don't I don't mind, frankly. I wish they were all a little more like flourishy. I suppose. Yeah. Um, there was also a, a, a quote that mentioned uh, even his name was forgotten until a thousand years after his death, Viego stood once more. The bio doesn't give us any information about how how that happened. It gave real no, big and right. somehow Palpatine returned energy. <laughs> you're right. It's true. <laughs> That's because they didn't have it figured. You sure? I mean, surely they were still figuring it out, right? They're still I like. Think a, so. I mean, I don't know. I'm trying to think. Yeah. When did because Ruined King do, come out versus when did Viego get? I think it was actually the Ruined King game that finally answered this question. So how does he come back? Yeah. I, I didn't play Ruined King. Thresh and, and, uh, and oh, Thresh, Thresh and like, Gangplank. Yeah, doing they, they're doing some old shenanigans. Yeah, it's weird where they're like they're they're kind of bringing him back, and he's sort of like he's like a little it, like like he's like a little baby. We're just like okay, you gotta keep him like keep him calm. Don't freak him out too much. But if he gets upset, you give him his binky, which is where you use this pendant or whatever to like <laughs> tamp his power down. I don't know. It's just weird. It smells like his wife. He really likes it. It calms him. <laughs> Yeah, which game like shit. immediately fucks up. He's like, I'm stronger than this guy. He's not. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Uh, this was by Jared Rosen, by the way. It wasn't mm. credited. I was curious. I was going to ask him. Yeah, because he also does a short story. Uh, mm-hmm. She is the name of the short story. I do like your first line there, John. <laughs> <laughs> Can you explain that? 
It was, Share with the class. Come on. As soon as I read the 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 title oh. of the book or the the short story, it was she. I was like, her. He just wrote her <laughs> with a question mark underneath. <laughs> what one of my one of my favorite ongoing <laughs> uh, Arrested, Arrested Development bits. <laughs> <laughs> her. All right. She. She says. She. <laughs> clear as the nose on Plane's face. <laughs> I'm just now gonna quote rest of development for it. Okay, that's. Do you want to put your wine? He's keep falling into a loop. A no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> he wants to walk us yeah, through. Yeah, she. she. <laughs> Not the movie. That's a different movie. That's well. Don't There's worry, because the movie's called also her, called John. her anyway. <laughs> I was thinking of the Elvis Costello song. You think? No. Of all of us, you're the one person who would say that. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm not a Costello man. It was in Notting Hill. Ooh. Oh, fuck. We were talking about Notting Hill just the other day. I know y'all have seen it. <laughs> you can't lie to me. I have. I have yeah. it's, the, it's like the opening song. It's a Sandy the Bullock one, though, song. right? Is that a Sandy San- Bullock? Sandy B? Sandy Bullock. Sandy. <laughs> what, Notting Hill? Yeah. She's not in it? Who is it? Who's the prime no, minister? No, I don't we know that We were saying either. it was somebody that's not. Well, Hugh Grant's Hugh in it, right? Hugh Grant. Yeah. Okay, maybe, okay, you guys actually don't I have not seen no, it. It's, it's, not, it's not Hugh Grant. He's the uh, prime minister, and he's uh, in love Julia with some Roberts, lady. He's right? kind of like Viego in many That's ways when you think about it. That's love actually, Mark, you dumbass. <laughs> oh, whatever. It's Julie Roberts where she yeah, plays okay. an Julia actress Roberts. falling in love with a with a, a, a lowly bookseller. Whoa. I like, the, I like the, the, the reverse idea, Viego? Oh, my God. She's it's just It's a Viego. reverse Viego. And then Hugh Grant stabs her in the chest. <laughs> that do, that does happen. Oh yeah! Oh, shit! That, I gotta yeah. see this fucking movie. <laughs> Rotting Hill, the Viego story. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That was pretty good. We'll give it to you. Oh fuck. Um, okay, she. But the song is about the actress, so mm. it doesn't doesn't work. Okay. Uh, what story are we doing? She. That's the story we're doing. She, <laughs> we right? Said it so it so starts many with. Times, Mark. I know, and then and then, but at some point, I just forget, right? So it starts with Diego. He's he's kind of just like sitting there, like on a seething, right, on his his throne. He's just sitting there, <laughs> like is, ruminating, yeah. right, um, because he wants to find his old, and he kind of can't remember what she's like. Um, he can like when he thinks about her, she's a little different every time he kind of remembers her, and he's very angry because he doesn't have his soul, and he slams his sword down, and it makes everything all shake and then it like he's you know he's he's like oh i gotta go find his soul or whatever <laughs> and <laughs> and then there's like this weird sort of like interlude where it's like explaining the black mist where it's like hey the black mist it goes out and it's full of ghosts and shit and sometimes it ebbs and sometimes it flows but all of a sudden it's it's all uppity buppity it's getting all crazy um and it's seeking things out is this it, is are those that have they describe it but this is pretty much word for word. Uppity buppity. Uppity buppity is definitely in there. <laughs> um, you did say that, you know, they really elevated the language. <laughs> the, the little, the, right? Thus, Flourishes. The right? mist was uppity buppity. <laughs> <laughs> and thusly, um, the uppity buppity thus missed. <laughs> Really, all this is a this is all a setup for Rise of the Sentinels, right? It's establishing that the the, the mist, which is always kind of a per, a threat, normally is now acting with intention and purpose, and it's seeking these things out that are related to a soul, and that Viego can kind of use it to like, he can kind of like teleport to it. If there's mist somewhere, he can go there, and uh, the mist is actively overrunning this town because there's some treasure, there's some treasure at the heart of it that is calling to the mist and to Viego, um, and he's like, well, I guess I'll see what's going over there, and he kind of like, you know. It's, um, blinks Jimmy's. over to where the mist is, kills some people. Kind of incidentally, he, he they're very explicit about him not caring about you know these people because whatever he's got more important shit to do. What he's doing is more important than anything. Um, and he comes up on the I don't know king, mayor, magistrate, the guy who runs the place, um, and that's the guy who's like defending the whatever treasure this is that you know it's something that he knows is is important. Uh, and he tells the guy like, you know that treasure is super important. Uh, and you're going to serve me instead of just being one of these stupid wraiths. And the guy's like, okay, but that means we'll save the city, right? And I guess that pisses Viego off. I don't know. So he kills the guy. Doesn't even get, The guy doesn't even get to be a cool, like, specter. <laughs> He's just dead now. Um, and Viego <laughs> tears open the vault or whatever. And inside is an old, battered-up music box. And I think it's a Souls music box. Is that right? Yeah. Um, yeah. And it's, it's heavily featured in the cinematics. That's yeah. true. Yeah. 
Um, and it's, it's kind of speaks to him, but he can't really discern what it is that it's saying. Um, but he's like, ah, yes, this is this. I need this stuff. This is what I need. This is the good stuff. Um, <laughs> and he takes it and then he has scones with it. Sounds like a great story. And that's, I'm not describing it the best. It's okay. I mean, I'm it's just a color story. Um, yeah, yeah. They're usually pretty short and like not super thrilling, depending but yeah. Yeah, I mean, like I said, this one is like a really big setup for the whole thrust of the Rise of the Sentinels event, which is that there's these pieces of his old soul, like in the music box, that are scattered about, and Viego and the Mist oh, are... Oh, so that's one of her horcruxes. One of her horcruxes. Yeah, exactly. So, Viego and his Mist are looking around for them horcruxes, and if he gets some bad shit's gonna happen. And I don't know if only a team of plucky heroes would rise up and stop him yeah. and we kind of wish they had in some yeah. ways <laughs> <laughs> so I wish who, they had who who's rises up to stop him? the sentinels oh, don't worry we'll the, get to it yeah don't worry about it it's a whole sentinels thing sentinels of, of light of light yeah. are those people from Demasi? <laughs> no, uh, no. no actually all over the place yeah they're from everywhere all it's over. quite a, the a coalition a group of yeah, yeah. the initial sort people sort of a round table would you say <laughs> the initial people who join make a lot of sense. Um, Senna has a piece of Isolde's soul inside of her because she used to be mm-hmm. trapped inside Thresh's lantern and Thresh had a piece of Isolde in his lantern and then they escaped um, and Isolde is okay. with her. And then Lucian's her, Senna's husband. So them fighting with, you know, being sentinels and all that makes a lot of sense. Um, sentinels are the only people who have weapons that can fight the mist. They're the ones who with the weapons that can hurt Viego in the mist. The rest, the rest of the Sentinels who join are just the people Riot wanted to give skins to. They don't really make any sense at all <laughs> for this yeah. story. Like, uh, like Vayne. Rengar. I would Rengar. Say Hike, Rengar. Hike. Olaf. <laughs> Olaf. Graves. Yeah. Just the, Honestly, the know. one that makes the most sense is maybe Akshan, and he doesn't even join in one of the variations of the story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, he's like a he's senti- very much yeah. a hero, so he would join. Yeah. yeah, um, but that's 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 she. That's the the summary of what's going on in it. Mm. Um, it starts a little, you know, a little blue. Oh, oh yeah, that line stuck out to Ooh. me too. John will read there for us. She wore a gown some days, and others a simple oh, yeah. work frock, and on others still, she wore nothing at all. <laughs> Easy there. Feels cowboy. like I'm wearing nothing at all. That's <laughs> when he goes remembering he sold. <clears throat> He's got his blade. Right? I'm publishing my blade. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, wait, who is this in reference to? The she is he sold. Is sold. Yeah. 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 Okay. Now, quick yeah. point of order. Mm. There's another quote that said, Viego, on his shattered, blackened throne at the bottom of the world, slammed the king's blade deeply into the rock beneath. Um. You know, cracking the obsidian, sending a brutal tremor across the entirety of the Shadow Isles. So, like, did he build himself <laughs> a new throne on the Shadow Isles? Because he was not that king man. of the Shadow Isles. He must have. He was just True. chilling here. And they Him didn't and have Nordic a king. Kaiser, man. They had, like, it's yeah, not even like, like he stole someone else's some... king. They yeah. had a full council. <laughs> That's really funny. I was trying to remember the bit from, from Monty Python. Yeah, you know. I, think, oh, I didn't vote I think for it. They don't vote for kings. <laughs> I think Riot themselves often forgets that the ruin, like the the Shadow Isles, is not Camovor. I think they <laughs> they have a lot of trouble keeping that consistent. Yeah, like, people are like, "Fuck, it's different." <laughs> that's right, a whole so. other place that's abandoned. Yeah, it's hard because right, they're all ruined. It's all a bunch of fucked up places. But to this same um, point, another follow up line: to his left lay a painting he could no longer bear to look at, for the fair Isolde's countenance had been too perfect to lay eyes upon, too lovely to grant him any peace or res- respite. Did he bring a painting of her <laughs> to the he, pool where he threw her body and he just looks at it now? A painting you know, he probably would have. Honestly, you so know, I, I think could if see you... it on the boat. I could see him yes. bringing a painting on the boat, but it is explicitly said that that boat was fucking destroyed when the ruination hit. Maybe he went See, back you know, to Camivore as, like, you know, a ghost. A little ghost. got a painting and brought it back thinking well, he'd want it. Well, you said he was having, like, memory issues. Was oh, maybe there's not really a room? painting there. Oh, oh I, no, I was gonna say, oh. like, oh, he's like, oh, I don't always remember. I need, like, a 
you know, a, oh, I, maybe a he did like something. a little cave painting himself. It's right? like his <laughs> memento tattoo, <laughs> the stick he figure. Like a, he did like a stick figure. She's too perfect to look at. He's sitting on this just like cinder block, <laughs> not a throne. <laughs> My king's throne. <laughs> and it's like you the Jay's inter- picture at Arcane that he did the superhero one. Oh, no, that'd be pretty <laughs> good. He sold on the wall. <laughs> this is Diego. This is a soul. We're married. Um, <laughs> She loves me so much. You know, he reminds me. Sometimes he reminds she doesn't me of wear any clothes. <laughs> you can see here she's not really wearing them, but that's because I couldn't it's draw the them. Big, very well. about, it's just two big boobs. Yes, yeah, thinking about it's always sunny with that it's just the big boobs for the dress. <laughs> <laughs> really like me being like a fucking ten year old. <laughs> I kind of like that. Oh fuck! But he, oh, he reminds me of Azir, right? They're both these oh. these dick rulers who who died and have been revived. Um, mm-hmm. And I I I'm reminded of Azir's story where he, like his story was about his immediate like the moments where he got revived. And I think you could oh, I smack the mic. It's fine. Um, I think you could. If you took the story and expanded it a bit and you got into those moments of where Viego was first trying to understand what happened and like maybe he's walking the shoreline and he finds some old picture, right? Like that picture could be the through line of how he's degrading like over sin. I guess the, the thing is though, that doesn't happen because Ruin King changed fucking everything, right? Where he yeah. now got revived by gang flank or whatever. I don't know. Like <laughs> I like the idea of him, him being just stuck in the ruined uh, or the shadow aisles for like decades, centuries even, and just kind of like getting worse and worse and degrading mm. more. So is Ruin King canon? Do we know? Uh, I, think I guess so, technically yeah. speaking, if we go with the rules of anything cool. after Song of Nunu, the anything after Song of Nunu, it might not be, it's but it probably is. Probably, yeah. You know, yeah. Everything's so I mean, I close. Hope it I don't know. Yeah. It like they expanded a lot of people's stories in that, so I do hope it's canon. Like they they tied it's, a lot of loose ends together. They like expanded Ari's character a lot. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I mean, also, you know, we kind of talked about it that, like, there's a resolution to that that I don't know if we'll talk about separately, but in the game, standalone, I felt it was kind of weird, but now that I've got this extra context for Viego, I think it's a really... It's, like, the best way that you can uh, handle and, like, resolve the Viego problem. The, the ongoing Viego situation, yeah, right? How do you solve How a problem? Like pro- <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. Uh, yes. Because instead of just like shooting him a bunch or whatever, or like using oh the the lights flying around, or using some MacGuffin, right? It's like you you attack what's actually at the core of the issue with him, right? Like you know, kind of forcing him to con- to confront the reality of things is way more interesting. I feel like which isn't to say that there isn't also a MacGuffin. <laughs> that's that's true, yeah. <laughs> and they do sh- you do have to shoot him a bunch, and you have to hit him a bunch, right, in and order then, to get that cutscene, and then but... seal his soul soul in a magical pendant that for some reason exists and can only be used for this purpose. Right, but um, can I say yeah. something about yeah. Camivore? <clears throat> so I know like Camivore was probably broke by the time Viego left, but like he and the army left and they died and never came back. But like there were still people there, right? Probably yeah. Yeah. Did they I just mean, all die? Just... Like I don't know. they probably Did either they died probably. or they like left. Okay. Because we know that there are a lot of. I mean, they conquered a lot of places um, nearby, so mm. they probably just fucking. fucked I'm surprised off somebody didn't come and all... take over Camivore. Probably wasn't enough to take but... over at that point. Yeah, I, mean, I imagine there's land. It, it just like it's fractured just, it's land and cities yeah. and people. You know? Actually, I would think I it might would make more sense that, that a local. Oh, okay, why? And it is tied to one of the short stories that he's mentioned. In. One of the twenty-one short stories. One of the twenty-one stories. short stories, and it is All the right. newest. Oh, okay. Short story. Well, we'll get to that, I guess. Then. Yeah. Interesting. Anywho, moving on. You, the only other thing about this is it reminds me of the Akshan short story because Akshan in his short story is also kind of experiencing the same thing around. Um, Shadia, his mentor, because she's dead and he's trying to like avenge her. But mm-hmm. he's he's realizing there are moments where he can't quite remember like how she looked or like the exact color of her eyes and things like that. I assume that's intentional a little bit because Akshan and Viego in, are really tied together in many ways. So that makes sense. Know. Yeah, which I kind of like. This <laughs> one's very melodramatic. A lot of the writing in yes. Viego, like his bio and his short story, are very melodramatic. And I kind of are they tied to you? Because Akshan is one of the sentinels, and Akshan is very, very instrumental in the beating Viego. He's got a, yeah. a cool, a cool new gun that when you shoot somebody, it will re- 
revive. And what's the other connection? What they both have memory plot problems. I no. think it's more that so, <laughs> it's, a, I don't, I don't, it's sort of a, refle- a lot. It's it's a reflection of both of them like reflecting on someone that they loved very much and they've lost and they're trying to avenge. But okay, it's been so long so that they don't even to really show, remember like, them. Two sides of a coin, like yes, a like how you they do it more with, where there's like a good or a bad. They do it more with yeah. Lucian, honestly. Yeah. They, they do. do that a lot with oh, Lucian. Oh, that's because yeah. Lucian also I was just thinking, lost. I was talking about like yeah. the specific element of like they're trying to remember that person and they can't. Like their memories the are failing a little. Like the, she went in the lantern or something. Yeah, okay. that's the one. That was Senna, yeah. <laughs> I it. listened to this podcast. <laughs> uh, now there well, was I'm a... starting to realize like why I don't. Uh, I've listened to like so much of your podcast, and I'm like, why do I still not know <laughs> any of the lore? <laughs> It's because I space out it? the middle, and I'm yeah, doing I it right understand. now. I'm like, That's am fair. I following what's going on right now? <laughs> no. It's a lot. I mean, like no. you said, 21 stories. It's a lot of fucking shit. I'm definitely gonna space shit. out when he starts talking about. Yeah, that that's story. fair. Sure. Uh, okay. So I've got. He's the ruined king. Um, he is the ruined king. Yeah. If we taught you anything today, it was that. <laughs> There's an interesting <laughs> bit of trivia in this story about the oh. mist that I don't think is ever brought up again or used again Great. anywhere else. Mm-hmm. He raises a single hand before the city's great wall, and the mist rushes oh, yeah. forward, stones falling away as the structure becomes tainted with decay. Oh. So, like, how the fuck is bilge water still exist <laughs> at all? It has mist pouring over it nonstop every year on on the dot. <clears throat> they got Naga Kaboros magic, man. <laughs> I gotta explain shit, dude. It's just... <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't make Tentical sense. I'm glad they took that out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> uh, so, next, I figured I'd talk about the Ruined King game, because I think, like, sure. timeline-wise, that's kind of the next thing that happens before a lot of his story shit actually kicks off. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this precedes the Sentinels of Light event. Um, we actually see the events leading up to Viego's Awakening. Um, so basically, Thresh tricks Gangplank into helping him uh, with the promise of power, which is right up GP's alley, because this is right on the tail end of him losing Bilgewater to Misfortune. Um, anyway, he gets double-crossed by Thresh, what? because who could have fucking seen that coming? <laughs> uh, so Thresh uses a bunch of Buru artifacts and a ritual to awaken Viego. Um, initially kind of like uh, awaken him, though he's still super, super weak. Uh, he has an amulet that's supposed to be powerful enough to subjugate him as long as the wielder has a strong enough will. Um, so later in the game, the group makes it to the Shadow Isles, and they interrupt Gangplank as he's attempting to draw out Viego's power. Uh, but it turns out, Viego's got a shit ton of power, uh, so Gangplank immediately just gets overpowered and possessed, and then Viego's like, hey Gangplank, go kill these guys for me, I got some shit to do, and he pieces. Um, so, uh, he, he heads off to Bilgewater, where Thresh had also tricked Gangplank into burying Isolde's crown, kind of specifically to draw... Um, Viego there Mm. Um, so they fight Gangplank after they beat him a bunch of dark mist pours out of Gangplank's chest and Ari is able to retrieve memories from that mist Um, and they're basically a bunch of memories of Viego being a total dick to Isolde Um, and it seems like before they died things weren't going great (laughs) Um, so he hid them away because they scared him and reminded him of a reality which he was firmly against. Uh, so the group does manage to catch up to him before he makes it to Bilgewater. They fight him. After they beat him, they manage to seal him in the amulet and avert disaster. And don't worry, surely nothing will happen to this <laughs> amulet in any follow-up stories. Hmm. That's a lot. It is a lot. It, um... You know, it's like I said, I think it makes them... I, I kind of wish this was all that we did with Viego, that we don't have Rise of the Sentinels happen immediately after this and kind of undo all that hard work that everybody worked so so hard for. Yeah. It's a real shame. Yeah, that um, is a bummer. You make... Like, you know... I know when I play a game <laughs> and, like, I finish it, I feel really good and satisfied about, like, saving the world. So to immediately have something, like, unravel everything you just did is so shitty. Right. I didn't really think of that. Especially since... The the game came out 
I think after after Sentinels even, mm-hmm. and then yeah. the short story that explained what happened in between the game and Sentinels came out significantly after <laughs> the game. So there was a period of time too where I was like, like how, how the did fuck this did amulet? we get from point A to point B here? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was that was weird. At, full disclosure, I don't have any notes for the ruination or for the Sentinels of Light this time. We've talked about this so often. So many times. Like, if you want a deep breakdown of Sentinels of Light, we have a two episode arc of it. I'll just go over the highlights here. Viego's looking for oh, resold. No, I haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> I'm on the seas. <laughs> no, I'm not. I think I'm I'm gonna be in the R's. We're oh, we're damn. we're well past it. I'll say. Oh no, I have listened to. Oh yeah. no. Uh, well, no, I really, I totally listened to your book. Mm-hmm. It's okay. Don't worry, I'll give you the quick rundown here. Viego's looking mm-hmm. for Isold. He keeps being slightly faster than the good guys that getting to them. He drops shit on top of the good guys nonstop instead of killing them. He's like, I'm gonna drop a building on you, that'll do. I'm gonna drop a mountain on you, that'll do. So I'm gonna weird. drop some other shit on you, that'll do. Uh, never learns his lesson. Finally gets all the pieces together, goes back to the Shadow Isles, does this little revival technique, which revives these souls. She is not a fan of being revived. And Akshan is there. His gun can, um, you know, revive people who um, had uh, been killed. So, yeah, with Akshan's gun, <laughs> gun, if you kill, like, someone who has killed someone, it will revive the people that they've killed. Or is it the last person that they've killed? Yeah, technically Someone's I think there, it's yeah. supposed to be the last person. The last so person like, that they've the killed. The fact that he's still even trying to get vengeance is a little weird, but I feel like we talked about that in Akshan too. Yeah, it's a weird inconsistency in his story. Uh, but so Isolde is like, you know, gives a little like wink to Akshan, the little like, hey, kill me, bruh. <laughs> um, so he's like, all right. So he does that and she dies. Senna and Gwen revive because part of that story was that... Uh, a piece of Isolde's soul lies in both of them, so Viego had to draw out that piece of the soul to revive Isolde, which ended up killing both of them. Gwen is uh, Isolde's doll, doll, by the way, brought to life. become a real she's girl. Like an animated, yeah, she's like an animated, like, brought to life doll. Um, I know, it's weird. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, after, <laughs> after they after they killed Isolde, they managed to trap Viego um, in, in Camivore. Um, yeah, he's back in Camelot. Back, back at his actual throne, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, which they got to through a portal that Vex opened. Um, well, you know, in the story, I guess in the in the cinematic, Viego opened it, but whatever. Um, Don't worry about it, man. <laughs> so yeah, they they trapped him. They didn't kill him, but they like trapped him in a stasis, basically in Camavor. Um and victory. You know. Yes, and then ultimately, I think Thresh gets some of his power. Is that what happens? Thresh gets a ton yeah, of power by absorbing up. black mist. So he becomes mist, okay. from a wraith, like we know him typically, to he has like a human form now. Yeah. So a through line throughout all of this, starting from the very beginning, is Thresh. Um, he was our favorite part of the Ruination novel. But kind of all of this, everything that has happened, has been set up by Thresh in some way. He's the one who got Viego to the Blessed Isles. He's the one who got Viego to throw his dead wife in the waters. <laughs> What's He's the like one who his revived motivation? Viego. Um... Like- Oh he's gosh! A psycho murderer. <laughs> he's just a bit of a meddler. Yeah. He's very petty, basically. He very was petty. Up for a uh, a fellowship very early on in life, and has carried that bitterness yeah. with him. So Thresh <laughs> lived on the Blessed Isles when they were the Blessed Isles, and he worked there, okay. and he was like a a member there. Um, and he kind of like ended up working in like the crypt, basically like, these underground tunnels, and he murdered people there like subtly without people knowing he was like a serial killer kind of um okay yeah so now as a wraith himself because he was taken over by the the you know the black mist when it came out he Mm -hmm. just wants power and it has given him a a human-like form so he's kind of become like the big villain of the storyline does human thresh look different like what a little bit he's got abs now he's got abs Um, yeah, he yes. absorbed Diego's right, abs. That's what League of Legends thinks human is. What is he yeah. Human man, like... abs. Abs. Human That's woman, the same face. Yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll find you one here. Yeah, so that's that's kind of... Uh, Show that's, me the abs. That's a, yeah, yeah, you gotta check. You gotta <laughs> keep glow. them abs. Oh. I don't. I can't get like a splash. I get the in-game. No, oh. hold on. Well, I, I didn't realize we needed... We <laughs> needed. I don't know if he has a... It doesn't he does. look he like abs is all... 
Oh. <laughs> Sarah's nodding to him. I prefer Wraith Thresh. Way hotter. Two out of ten. Would not date. <laughs> It's strange. Yeah, it's strange. Yeah. It's strange. It's like it's I I don't know. He's not quite human. Yeah, he's, he's I mean, something he's still off dead. about this Thresh He's guy. still yeah. off. <laughs> but he doesn't have like the ghostly, you Ghost. know, green look that he No, he's pretty he's, I guess he's, he's pretty, pretty ghostly. He's in yeah. the skull face. He's, pale. he's, he's, he's got more ghostly, of like a say? uh he's got more of a low key vibe now. Very, right. very pale he's and green. Ghostly. Yeah. Um, now I don't it know. is if worth on mentioning. A scale, sure. Like he was way up here. He's just he's turned down to like an eight. A notch. Gun yeah. down a notch. It's like when the beast yeah. transforms. Exactly. To the That's what I was thinking when they mentioned when he mentioned the portrait too. Where he had like. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 he's got yeah. himself scratched off in the portrait. Oh, scratched. Them. Yeah. Um, now it's worth mentioning that Thresh now mm. is supposedly, according to the in-game event, even more powerful than Viego. They said that there's a there's a power level higher than anything they had ever sensed oh, with okay. Thresh. He's so. Super Saiyan too. Yeah. <laughs> super, super flaying. Oh my ah, that's pretty, that's pretty good, man. You knocking him out the park. He has bam, an ability bam, bam. called Flay Thresh. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I I got it. I'm there. All right, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna talk about some mentioned in. All right, I'm gonna sit back. Okay. Everyone get comfortable. <clears throat> I don't have these organized in any particular order because there's 21 of them, so fuck right off. <laughs> Damn. Uh, all right, we're going to start with Boys and Bombalini by Jared Rosen. This is the Graves and TF story after the Sentinels of Light event. They're basically just What did you say it was called? The Boys, the boys and Bambolini. Bambolini. Oh, Bambolini, I thought you were yeah. saying like Boysenberry. It it's did a, it's not a, sound like a word. Boys and Berry. Berry boys. It's a great story. <laughs> if you're going to read one, story. highly recommend it. Yeah. I'm not going to read one. But... <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Rebecca. I'll read the goddamn week. Uh, but yeah, they're basically just talking about everything the Graves did when he was a Sentinel, and there are some references to Viego. Uh, then we've got an intimate evening at Oyster Bills, where Nyla has come to find the Sentinels responsible for dropping Viego on her doorstep and not killing him. She's not pleased about that, though she is still smiling the whole time. Yeah. She is, she is from one of the kingdoms that's right next to Camivore, who Camivore was constantly attacking. So she's not happy to have him back. Um, then we've I got... mean, he's in stasis, Nila. Chill. <laughs> she's she's well aware that stasis isn't going to last. What? <laughs> it works for Ganondorf. <laughs> uh, in Battle Broken by Lori Golding, which is the absolutely heartbreaking story about Atreus and how violated he felt after finally being free of the influence of Pantheon, only to have Viego possess him and then also draw Pantheon back out and force him to do terrible things for him. It's a good story, too. Great story. Uh, then we've got Last Rites by John O'Brien, where Yorick is trying to break the curse of the Shadow Isles, but all he can find are these ding-dang rumors about some sort of ruined king. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's that? <laughs> uh, and then we've got Shepherd of Souls, also by John O'Brien. Yorick has now pieced together the story of the ruined king. Oh, thank God. Still can't do anything about it. But he Maybe he can help happens. us out, man. That was like Yorick last week. He, like, just figured it <laughs> oh, out. Oh, shit. Oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> This is the Sherlock Yorick story. <laughs> uh, then we've got No One Lives by Graham McNeil, where Hecarim just murders a whole lot of folks who come to the Shadow Isles and turns them into soldiers for Viego. We've got The Despoiler of Havenfall, which is another uh, Hecarim story by uh, Michael Hagen uh, Weisk. Oh. How do you, would you pronounce no, it? No, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Uh, Hecarim is going around claiming land in the name of Viego which seems oddly more formal than his No One Lives decree in the last story, but more power to him. Mm. Uh, we've got Redeemed by Philip Vargas. Uh, see, I didn't correct my autocorrect on this one. Uh, Virgos, Virgos harrowing <laughs> are spreading further and with more urgency and desperation and Senna knows he's after something. <laughs> uh, but then Thresh Karth assaults her inexplicably and she has a... a How did he get a Karth assault? Being. Uh, then we've got the Chain Warden, which is the Thresh bio by Anthony Reynolds Lenny, where he took advantage of Viego's desperation to get revenge on all the people who wronged him and get power for himself. Uh, and we've got the Echoes Left Behind by Anthony Reynolds Lenny. Uh, Ledros is trying to bring Callista back from her single minded vengeance. As a final Hail Mary, he tells Callista that he is a betrayer for not saving her, even though he knew Hecarim was jealous that she was Viego's favorite and was probably going to do something against her. Is he not just called Anthony Reynolds? 
Uh, he's normally credited as Anthony Reynolds on a... Oh, I've only okay. ever seen Anthony know. Reynolds. She was looking at the Ronation cover. Mm. Mm. Okay, just Carrie. I was confused. <clears throat> but that's uh, not news. Carrie. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got... Okay, so this one... This one mm. is part of the reason why I think nobody took over Camivore. Mm. Uh, he shows they up in... Oh, is this from Smolders? From the Fiery <laughs> Fledgling. I heard you, Sarah. Uh, <laughs> it was a good one. <laughs> sorry. Stop that <laughs> Uh, Fiery Fledging by Christina uh, Atanaka Soka. Oh, it's or... Smolder. Atanasovsky. Sorry, I'm reading this drunk. Fine. <laughs> Keep going. Um, Smolder's we'll ancestors. We'll do it a third time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, actually, I feel good about that last one. Atanasovsky. Atanasovsky. Um, Smolder's <laughs> ancestors <laughs> lived in Camivore before mm. it was Camivore. Um, the dragons. Uh, eventually, when the humans arrived, there was a peace made to avoid more violence between the two, because the humans and dragons were fighting all the time. Uh, basically, the dragons said they would be loyal to the throne and kind of protect the throne, um, and in um, return, they would be given ample livestock and treasure. So this deal was made well before Viego's time, um, and when Viego was going to the Blessed Isles, he actually went to the dragons and was like, I need you to come with me to back me up on this one. And the dragons were like, fuck off, you're insane. We're going to mm. stay right here. <laughs> so now the dragons are probably, like, taking over that area. Yeah, they probably, if, mm -hmm. they're, if they're not, like, either protecting Camivore's independence, they are at least claiming it as their own now, would be my hmm. guess. Okay. Hmm. Um, all right, next we got The Gloomist by John O'Brien. Uh, Vex wanted to help Viego spread gloom all around the world, but was super bummed when she found out he was just doing all of this for love. Yuck. Yucky, yucky. And we've got The Hallowed Seamstress, which is the uh, Gwen bio by Michael Luo. Isolde made Gwen, and they were happy. Viego took Isolde away, and she was sad. <laughs> Isolde died, and she was lonely. Uh, then, when Viego awoke, so did Gwen! Woo! Woo! Uh, then we've got The Joy Unbound by Jared Rosen, which is the Nyla bio. Uh, Viego and Camivore used to sack the shit out of Nyla's home in, Kath in Kathcon, uh, but ever since this fall, they've been relatively peaceful. So things have been pretty good there. Uh, we've got The Princeling's Lament by Graham McNeil, which is a story about a prince who betrayed his queen. Um, you know, and came to the Shadow Isles just in kind of a bid to get more power. Uh, but he gets to meet all of the horrors of the Shadow Isles and learn about the tragedy that befell them and the tragedy of the Ruined King. <laughs> and we've got the Redeemer, which is the Senebio by David Slagle. Uh, Sena has a piece of his soul dinner, and Viego wants it back. Gimme, mine. Uh, and we've got the Shadow of War, which is the Hecarim by, <laughs> by Graham McNeil. Uh, Hecarim's the head of the Iron Order, who's kind of one of the houses that's loyal to Viego. Uh, Hecarim uses Viego's grief to manipulate him into giving him more power and letting him raid and murder more and more of the surrounding territories. Uh, and then later, when Viego orders Klista to murder a bunch of innocent people, and Klista's like, ah, uh, nah, that's not my bag, dude, uh, Hecarim just kind of stabs her a bunch. Rude as hell. Rude as hell. Uh, and <laughs> that's surprising. Got yeah. <laughs> the Spear of Vengeance, which is the Callista bio by Anthony Reynolds Lenny. Uh, she is Viego's niece and his top general. Uh, Viego sent her to find a cure for Isolde before she died. Um, she found the Blessed Isles, eventually convinced them to to actually cure Isolde. Like, it took a while, but she finally convinced oh, yeah. them to, like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, well, we'll bring our queen here and you can put her in the water. Uh, by the time she got back, she realized, like, Oh fuck! She's oh, dead she's already. dead. Yeah. But Viego was like, no, no, no. We're gonna. She's fine. We'll bring her. Uh, yeah. Um, <laughs> not the deal. Yeah. So when they got there, the people on the Blessed Isles were like, "Uh, no. She's not sick. Right she's off. She's dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she's got a bad case of the dead, buddy. <laughs> um, but yeah, she refused to kill innocent people. Uh, and died. Uh, and then we've got the Twisted Tree Ant by Rayla Hyde. Uh, Maokai lived peacefully on the Blessed Isles until Viego came and fucked everything up. Uh, but uh, Maokai did manage to suck up a bit of the Blessed Water before the mist got him, so he didn't get fully ruined like a lot of the other things on the island, so suck it, Viego. He also does end up helping the group 
um, in the Ruined King game mm, when they get there. Maokai. Yeah, he gives actually some of the blessed water to Brahm, which he can use to cure an illness that is ravaging his people in Aww. the Freli world. So that was nice of him. Uh, oh, then we've nice. got The Voices of the Dead by David Slagle. Uh, Viego is basically raiding catacombs to find some fetters. Uh, Senna shoots him. Horcruxes. He's not fully formed yet <laughs> in this are. book. Oh. Speaking of Horcruxes, <laughs> he is basically like some sort of like half formed Voldemort in these stories. He's like not fully. <laughs> oh, yeah. He, he, I think it's because they didn't have his design figured out yet. Yeah. Yeah. Who's, his... Whose head would he be attached to the back of, like Professor Ooh. Quirrell? You know? Uh, Ooh, heck, I mean, Hecarim's a good pick, to... but that's not yeah. as fun. Does it have to be like a, a, a mist thing? No, or does know. it have to be like a real person? Who would it be if it was a real person? <laughs> No mm. one, really. I guess Gangplank kind of yeah, by, gang by way of Rune King. Ooh, yeah. Gangplank, Gangplank takes his hat absolutely. off and it's just Viego. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's so stinky. Where, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, finally, we have The Will of the Dead by Laura Miche. Uh, after the events of the Ruined King game, Viego is trapped in an amulet, which is entrusted to a Lowey. She and Yorick notice that uh, trapping him has not stopped the Black Mist at all. Um, it's still all over the Shadow Isles. They were kind of hoping it would stop it. So they planned on trying to find a way to kill Viego for good. But before they get around to doing it, one of his followers still steals the Ding Dang amulet oh, from him. Oh no! And uh, next thing we know, Viego is back for <laughs> the Sentinels of Light, baby! I, uh, I haven't read this story yet. I, I guess we will with Yorick, <laughs> but that is such a fuck up, man. Like, right, goddamn, the that's biggest the, fuck up. That's a really important thing to not lose. Yeah, the okay. one thing. Uh, now, okay. not mentioned in Sight of Land, which is linked on his bio. Linked in his bio. But good not, job. Not honey. mentioned even a little bit in that story. Yeah, I don't know why. Yeah, well, yeah. So, this is why we're thinking of talking about. It's yeah. about Callista, right? It's a Callista yes, story. It's a Callista short mm. story. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, but why there's, that's so, that's on there's there. so many people involved in the ruination and the Sentinels of Light, and we've talked about most of them at yeah. this point. So yeah. we got Literally, to be Yorick. We're like, oh, I haven't talked to his Yorick. Yorick, and yeah. honestly, like Yorick wasn't just, even in the Sentinels. Basically. He's not really yeah, right. in all the stuff. He was like on the side. So I'm fine getting the Yorick. Is God has yeah, Yorick away? Seems he like, like he's probably got something more going on. Uh, you'd think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out. Baby. Those are all the short stories. Now he's, he's in some canon cinematics, too. So Okay. Sure. First off, Made with Love, uh, which is a Gwen release trailer, I think. Mm. Uh, Gwen, uh, we see Viego and Isolde temporarily happy. Then we see Isolde turn into a ghost, and Viego is sad. Mm. And then we see Gwen as a doll after the ruination. And then part of Isolde's soul goes into her, and she turns into a real girl. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. A real anime girl. Yay. <laughs> with scissors. Did she look like a doll before? She was fully I mean, she a doll was a literal before. Doll, she was yeah. literally like, just like, like a like stuffed doll. And now she's like a full-fledged Raggedy anime Anne. protagonist. It's really yeah. weird. Now she's worthy of cosplay, I think is what you mean. Mm. That's a good yeah. point. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now I buy those skins. <laughs> <laughs> the skins of the cosplayers. <laughs> no, I have the what? skins of several cosplayers. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It's all these lamps. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's got weird. Next up, we got Kingdom, which was the trailer for the Ruined King mm. game. Uh, Viego shows up at the end of the trailer, which, for the record, was the very first time we had ever seen his visual. Oh, I didn't know that. We had no that. idea what Viego looked like until the oh, Ruined King, weird. or until this this trailer came out. He's just mentioned yeah. like, so much yeah. before they actually released him. Also, mm -hmm. the song slaps. It's so, a good I mean, song. I didn't realize it was for that. Spotify recommended it to me, and it came on a playlist one day. John's like, this is like the theme song for like the Ruined King game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No idea. It's in my League hype playlist. When I see ready to play League of Legends. Yes, yeah. Which one is it? Kingdom. It was in the car earlier. This is my kingdom. This is my domain. Oh, I do. Uh, <laughs> there's a lot of League music gets played around there's here. There's a lot of League <laughs> yeah. music. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Next up, we got Ruination. Um, Viego's all like, where is she? And uh, takes his old soul out of Senna. But I guess not all of the soul, since there's more soul in there later for the Sentinels of Light event, I guess. Uh, so simultaneously, all across the world, portals open and mist pours out, which, 
I mean, I guess I'll accept could be a Vex thing because she opens portals, but I don't think we have any instances of her opening multiple portals at the same time. That seems kind of OP, but it happened. Well, yeah. I don't know, man. Yeah. I would say, like, I, I rewatched the trailer, too, because I was like, am I remembering it wrong? Maybe they're not simultaneous. Like, maybe it's like the stories are happening at different times, and we're just like, you know, it seems simultaneous because, obviously, in the in the framing of the trailer they have to be but no as soon as as soon as viego's got what he's come for the mist disappears across the map so yeah well that's something vex can do i guess maybe i don't know i'm playing bandle tail and that doesn't seem like that's how it works have you met vex yet no 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 oh okay can any can any yordle open multiple portals at the same time i mean right now the portals are Mm. all a little broken and i have to host festivals and make yordles happy in order to get golden yarn in order to make portals Mm, you got to get that that yordle spirit going okay yes so vex was hosting parties yes (laughs) for a little goth party she was just having like halloween marathons or something like that i love that great (laughs) man she'd get along this is i mean not going to mean anything to I feel like any of you, but for all our Final Fantasy fans out there, I feel like she'd get along real well with Tonberries. They like they'd really vibe together. Which Final Fantasy is that from? Just like no, every one of them. All of them, yeah. Oh. I played a little. Uh, bit, but I don't know what those are. We've got a uh, Before Dawn. Vane's all until like, dawn, John. It's called Until. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's before a different game. Dawn. <laughs> Uh, Vane's all like monster and uh, helps the Sentinels beat Shivana, who was ruined by Viego. And at one point, Senna <laughs> says, "Bless you." Thank bless you. She doesn't say "bless you." No, Once she wouldn't. Cinematic, that'd be weird. <laughs> uh, <laughs> to the father, son, and Viego spirit. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, Sen- v- Vane really wants to just kill Shivana. Even like you know, she's not a dragon anymore. She's just like you know, a lady, and Vane's like, I'm gonna kill her anyway. Vane doesn't like magic. And Senna's like, Viego is the real monster. And she's like, oh, alright, I ah, guess I'll okay. I'll cool. pair up with all you magical beings. Give me some of your magic shit. You seem trustworthy, you know. Yeah, I love oh. magical items. I love it. <laughs> and then finally we have Absolution. So the Sentinels have a plan to beat Viego. Yay! Uh, it looks like it's going alright. Vane even pins the hand that he's using to hold his sword to the ground. Ooh. Um, seemingly forgetting about something that they've seen him do multiple times throughout the story, which is just um, making the sword disappear and appear, uh, which is what he does now and makes it disappear in his right hand and reappear in his left and just stabs behind him straight into Gwen's tummy. Um, Not her tummy. Not her tummy. Don't don't worry, she's fine. Uh, He pulls her God, you guys sound like such parents now. I know, right? Isn't it awful? (laughs) Rebecca's like, ew, it's yucky. (laughs) Yucky, yucky, yucky. Right in the tummy. (laughs) Me tum tum. Yeah, so Diego just pulls her and Senna into a portal um, to give them the big soul suck to bring back Isolde, which kind of works, actually, but Isolde is not cool with how creepy he is and gives Akshan the old shoot me daddy wink. So he does, and Senna and Gwen come back to life and trap him in Camivore. <laughs> gonna let that, gonna let that, that sit for a second. Yeah. Dang. That's, okay. uh, that's... Oh, yeah, is this the game? This is the game. I okay, you can't it. look at the screen. All right, so that's, that's, okay. the, that's the canon. I have a quote game here. All right. I have written down... Uh, ten, ten, I think, ten quotes, maybe eleven, who knows, who can count? Not drunk John. You need to tell me <laughs> no. whether these are Viego or lyrics to a random emo song. Okay. Ahem. <laughs> Did any of you listen to emo music in the... Not yes. really. Like Not 20 really. years ago or whenever. More of a goth girl. Yeah, I don't... I... Not particularly. It would, all, it would have only been like through Friends or something. Yeah. It wasn't my go-to. All right. Quote one. Mm-hmm. Your place is still at the heart of my everything. Emo song. I'm going to say that's an emo, emo song. song. That is an emo song. That is uh, the band Texas is the Reason. The song A Jack with One Eye. The fuck is that? I've heard of that in my life. Uh, it's Texas Sounds is like the Reason. Sounds like a hand in poker. <laughs> it is technically a jack in poker. There's a one-eyed jack, which is often used as a wild card in 
some mm -hmm. you know card games um <clears throat> it hurts my heart it hurts so much Viego? I don't I'm know. I'm going to go Viego. I know that's Viego because that, oh, <laughs> that was a quote I was going to give this or the quotes oh. I thought I'd give to Sarah. Oh, get, give us the quote. No, no, that's it. it. Do that's... You, no, do your impression of it. It hurts my heart. It hurts so much. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That's beautiful. That sounds good. He sounds like he's going to cry all the time. He Him does. and uh, Huey should hang out. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's so sad. You are the blood in my veins. Oh, God. Diego. Song. I think song. That is song. Brand new. The boy who blocked his own shot. Ew. Oh. <laughs> the boy who <laughs> blocked himself. That's how I read that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, yours is the first face that I saw. I think I was blind before I met you. Viego. Song. Song. That is a song. That is Bright Eyes, first day of my life. Okay. Uh, you are not the hero of this tale. Viego. Ooh, I like Viego, yeah. I guess I'll say Viego, too. That is Viego. Yeah, that would sound... Okay. Like, oh, we've got... We've got to, like... Who's that to? Or is that just like when he kills somebody? Uh, I think that's when he kills someone. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like it would be to somebody. Like Santa or Lucian. Yeah, something like that. Uh, there is no happy here. <laughs> song. I would say song. Uh, song. No, I, I don't know. That doesn't. That feels dumb either way. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty so quote either way. Uh, this is go a song. song. Oh. I don't know how to pronounce this band. Uh, Sesia, some natures catch no plagues. Spell that. Uh, S A E T I A. Sorry, right. sure. All right, sure. <laughs> the curve of her lips, the softness of her smile. I hope it's a song. It says Viego. It's really oh, Viego. That is Viego. But sometimes she wears nothing sing. at all, man. That's true. That's uh. true. I did forget that one. <laughs> the weight of this moment is so much more than you. Song. I'm going to say Viego. I'm on the tiebreaker. Song. That is Viego. Shit. Mm. I'm not good at this game. I got one, I think. <laughs> and so it was that love was the gravest sin of all. Both. That's the song. Choice. Ooh, I like the both guess, because I... That would be real weird. That would be real weird. It would be a specific. reference at that point. If a quote that long, it would have to That's be a reference. True. I know this is Viego, I'll say. Oh, oh okay. Sorry. But I think I like both. <laughs> uh, it is Viego. I did not find this as a, as a quote elsewhere. It should um, be. And then the final... Oh, no, wait, wait we've got we've got two more. Uh... Oh. Breathe deeply from this envelope. It smells like you, and I can't be without that scent. Song. I think that's a song. Viego, to spice it up. Yeah. It is a, it is a song. Now, mm. what I was hoping for here, what I was banking on, was y'all not being able to remember what the fetters were. I'm thinking maybe one of the uh, fetters was uh, a letter. No, I, didn't I guess think it I just I was thinking in game quotes. I didn't think he'd be talking about those in the in game. Some of these just felt too long. I was like, He's got long quotes. Oh, he's got some long ass fucking. Well, quotes. I don't know them. So <laughs> this strategy has been working mildly That's well. That's true. So. She's killing right. it. Uh, and then finally, when you cry, a piece of my heart dies. A song. What is a song? Diego. That is a song. City in color. The girl. Oh, for the record, that last one was dashboard confessional. Living in your letters. Uh, okay. That is the Viego or Emo song game. Beautiful, honey. I that liked it. Bad. Those were good picks. All right, I like it because I think I won. <laughs> right? I would say if it. we have any final thoughts on Viego, we have some... I, Sarah, how do you feel know, about all this been... story? How does it feel? Yeah. About does it feel coherent to you? <laughs> no. <laughs> there you good. have it, folks. 
an outside perspective. <laughs> I love it. Um, I think I said it like in Rise of the Sentinels, but Viego doesn't right work back. for me for like two big reasons. I think the first one is that I never buy the romantic part. Like I, I the way I, this would work in my mind is that you would kind of. Uh, what I'm trying to say, you would buy into his like perception of events, and then you would mm. peel things back, and that would be like yes. the big thing. But that would have been I, great. I, yeah, I if never we buy had it. And then slowly unraveled kind of what the relationship is really like, and we we need more of Isolde as well to kind yeah, of see. One. She's such a background in all of this uh, for being so important. Um, I remember. Yeah. I, I don't know she we we do eventually see a little bit more of her but it's not a ton and I'm thinking of like horns did you ever read horns or I watch the movie. movie I don't really remember the movie very well I guess spoilers for horns but the <laughs> we are getting like these scenes of this woman who has died and the man who killed her and it seems like she's very flirty with him and he just has such a skewed perception of it and it's not until later that you get it from her perspective that she's just being kind of polite to him and he is twisting it in a way that's like oh my god she loves me she wants to be with me and it, she did not and it, it's any sane person would have seen that that was what was going on but i think something like that happening with all of this would have been really great i guess it's just everything was released in such a sporadic order yeah. that it didn't flow yeah, and I think that contributes to the other big issue, which is that I don't think Riot, maybe now they do, I don't know about, because they, they, they haven't touched Fiego in a while, um, yeah. but I feel like when they were writing all these things, they were not consistent even about, like, what's like what's the real deal? Like, no one got together in a big room and said, okay, Viego, like, at the core of it, what is happening with this relationship? Yeah. Because it feels like, and sometimes they're like, well, Viego really did love her, um, and then sometimes they're like no 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 Viego like didn't even really love her it was just about like wanting to not be denied something and it's like it's all mm. over the map in terms of what's okay. actually happening yeah. um, and, and I, I no think... one made a style guide exactly right <laughs> I mean but genuinely and I think yeah. something that was more cohesive about like is it that he did genuinely love her and you know ex like had this terrible like relationship with her that he like like he wasn't like emotionally mature enough to manage or like was it just that he was like pure narcissist you know like you can do any of them. You just need to pick one and be consistent. And it just feels like I never know what Viego I'm going to get in some ways. Um, in terms of yeah. like, this is the the, 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 the shocking truth. You know it's like, I mean? it's weird because like, to, to your point too, like we do get several points of unreliable narrator, but we do yeah. also get several versions of him from other people's point of view as well. And like, None of those necessarily line up either. So it's not even yeah. Yeah. necessarily just the unreliable narrator. It really is just like every individual writer kind of having their own idea of what the reality what, yeah. is. It's it's all exclusively unreliable narrators. <laughs> yeah. And so here's the only other thing I was going to throw out for Viego is like if you wanted to do anything more with him, consider the idea the, like the idea that like he, Viego as he is now didn't really know what doesn't even really have like a complete understanding of like what actually happened right in terms of the not just the ruination but even the relationship with his soul right and where we've kind of left him is that he's had to confront the reality of it is like is there like a redemption arc for viego mm. potentially we're oh, like God. is the viego now I, I i know like it burns my mouth to even say that right like Pleh, get it out but no, like, I like <laughs> because the viego now is like is he even the same person really right like all of his That's memories true. have been like scrambled yeah. and shit I'd, like i would be very curious of what a reawakened viego would want or would do so here's my I imagine thing. he would reject okay. it like i don't, I I don't, guess. That's I don't so think boring. he would ever i like the idea good. of him yeah. accepting that Isol does not want to be you know awakened brought back so and he that is to come to terms with that yeah he's confronted with a lot of that in the ruined king i guess that's true and then yeah. after he awakes again in the ruined king he just kind of keeps going after her anyway tries to revive her and is then confronted with it again by you sold i feel like what we're getting here is a lot more similar to callista's mentality right now where she can't hold on to those mm. types of memories and like we get sure. that one short story um you know where where she is she is technically awakened for like a short period of time she's like oh my god um i'm blanking on his name right now ledros uh, ledros he's like oh my ledros. god ledros i can't believe what i've done to you like are are you okay and he's like oh you know 
finally I brought you back, everything's good. And then as soon as he comes back from the mist, she has forgotten everything again. So that's mm-hmm. kind of what I feel like. It sounds like it's all kind of in Thresh's hands then. If Thresh is ever yeah. beaten, could these people awaken and... That'd be interesting. Get their shit Although, right. You know, yeah. it's League, so no, but yeah, yeah, whatever. Right. theory craft. Maybe when the game shuts <laughs> yeah. down, they'll end some of the... <laughs> God, that'd, that'd be nice. Crazy. Honestly, that'd they be kind of nice. every honestly. loose end. <laughs> <laughs> If yeah. they're gonna break our hearts like that, then they have to, right? Yeah. Yeah, please. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Do we I, we have a whole episode about the ruination novel, so I, I would say go to that. Yeah, I, I, absolutely. I, I will just mention. I will. I will mention it, and then I think it is the best. Like, look at Viego. Obviously, yes. you get a lot more time with him, um, mm-hmm. and I really like that moment where they've come to the Blessed Isles and. There's a moment, there's again, kind of like, I guess, Calissa as she is now, where there is a moment where he does kind of accept that his soul is dead and he's going to have to just deal with that fact. And they're about to leave and just not fuck anything up. And then Thresh, like, just prods him a little more and kind of pushes things over the edge uh, and, and shit goes Yeah, Thresh haywire. is so good in, in that yeah. So, yeah. that's all. A use? You want to hear about some A use? Yeah, let me bring up his skins. He doesn't have a ton, like but he's got a handful. Um, so first one up, we have Riot Records, Pentacle 3, The Lost Chapter. In a realm consecrated to dark and uncaring gods, where mortals clash in ceaseless bloody sagas of metal, one band rose above all others, Pentakill, chosen of the noisome host. Now revered in temples and arenas across the land, their supremacy has become absolute, though a time of change is approaching, and the cycle may soon begin anew. And this one is Dissonance of Pentakill Viego. Oh my goodness, what a title. What, right? what member of the band is he? So oh, he is not own. a member yeah. of the band. He is the antagonist of the band. He's the first member of the Pentakill skin line who is not a member of the band. Wild. He's the band antagonist. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Only the brokenhearted can know the true sound of grief, that shadow when it ought to be filled with light, and now looks beyond these gray horizons for new sounds and visions to make it so. And uh, that doesn't give us a ton about Viego, but what we do get is a fucking 45-minute live-ass concert an interactive in concert with audience participation, full animation of all the songs, culminating in a massive kaiju battle between a massive Mordekaiser and Viego. I forgot it was Viego there. That's when we get Dump Truck Mordekaiser. That's when we get Dump Truck mm-hmm. Mordekaiser going hand-to-hand yeah. hand against Mordekaiser. Viego. Yeah, about Show this. me Dump Truck Mordekaiser. <laughs> He's like, like showing Viego's skins skin as we t- <laughs> Yeah, I always look at those skins. Oh, God. Mm-hmm. I don't know. He's just very large. He's a large, he he's a large a individual. Movie. Oh, yeah, but what's large about him, Mark? That fucking, that ass, dude. <laughs> See, the, th- the thing is, I don't even think you can even really see it in the splash art. It's more in the, in the, in the animated in the so video. This is kind of what it looked like. I'm trying to find a picture of his There's of his, a scene where, like, the camera's kind of underneath him, and he walks over, and you kind oh, of is it like that, the, uh... <laughs> that booty glance. <laughs> like the sun rising, or the moon. <laughs> Pretty good. Like, man, that's that is like a fetish shot. Like he's about to sit it down is on a the camera. Shot, right? It's like very like. <laughs> he's about to step. Like, what, he's about to step on you someone. Call like they're a giant. Oh, uh, we did. We did do a, an episode a, no, of no, our podcast on that. It. Um, there's a word for it, isn't there? When one person's really giant, one person's mac- macro. Mm. One of you two would know. But it's uh, the thing no, that it's, it's the thing that uh, that that. It might uh, just be like giant. It's something boring. <laughs> we did read some erotica about it? the a guy giant from D and D movie. Um, God, why oh. can't I remember his name right now? Bradley Cooper. Bradley Cooper and did the D and D movie. Mm. He's like a halfling or something, right? Exclusively dating the massive barbarian women. <laughs> yeah. Was that Bradley Cooper? It was. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's weird. I don't he was remember. like one scene. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they got. They got some people for that movie. That's what a great a good film. ass movie! That I like that. Movie. <laughs> was it? <laughs> no, I, I liked it a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I can't uh, tell you if it was good or not. I don't. Uh, objectively, I don't, I don't know. know. But I liked it. I was comparing it to the <laughs> '90s one, and man, it's so much better than that one. <laughs> That's oh, what I've never seen. We started. Oh, '90s. It's sorry, fun. it's funny. Oh, well, yeah. it, it, little... it could have been early 2000s. Yeah, around. Yeah, that time. we watched some of that. Remember? Yeah, the the Jeremy Irons. Yeah, yeah, the Jeremy Irons one. I don't remember. Pretty bad. If we watched it, I don't remember. 
It's anyway. not like uh. fun bad. <laughs> no. Uh, oh, it's fun it bad. Is fun I bad. think it's fun bad. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Tell Highly me about more skin that. booties. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Ages of Runeterra. One thousand years oh, ago, Jesus. the last king of Camivore chose to follow his heart at the expense of his country. So powerful was his love that fate intervened and only ruin followed. This is King Viego, the heir of Camivore, wielder of the blade of the king. Viego longs to follow in his father's footsteps. To his advisor Callista, his doubts were clear long before his coronation, as whispers of the sword's bond echoed throughout the sanctum of judgment. But he wears the ancient crown, and with his blade, sanctity, Viego will strike fear into the enemies of his nation. Um, you can see Gwen at the back of this one. The yeah. The little, little doll. Mm-hmm. Uh, fun fact about this one, too. Uh, this entire skin was created specifically to celebrate the release of the Ruination novel. Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got Soul Fighter. Their souls awaken by trial, one fought on a battlefield or in the very trenches of the mind. Each is granted unique abilities reflective of their nature and the power to conjure forth the very essence of their spirit. Some hone their strength, temperate with training. Others will use it only as a weapon to destroy. They are soul fighters. Oh, damn. Is it supposed to be like a fighting game? Or something? Yes, I think, it actually yeah, like is. A soul one. It was an in-game yeah. fighting oh, yeah. game too. They released a, an yeah. in-game yeah. fighting game. In oh, client, client, yeah. in client. Yeah. Oh, in client. Okay. Yeah. I thought you meant like the champions are like, and later we're going to hit the arcade. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Uh, that'd be great. Uh, Time for the not- Simpsons arcade <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now this is Soul Fighter Viego. The gracious, if needlessly reclusive, reclusive host of the Tournament of Souls welcomes all to his arena. Look at him now, eyeing the, comp- the competition from his throne room high above the ring. Doesn't his solitude just make you sad, folks? Here's but hoping he it? hops down from the tower and turns that sorrow into unbridled rage. Viego! I just don't like the needlessly reclusive. I'm just saying, if someone's reclusive, it's like, I don't need a reason. I just leave me alone. I didn't realize until halfway through reading this that this was, uh, you know, a... a, Like an uh, announcer. An announcer giving him an intro. You know, so... Sorry, sorry. I... With with better context, I probably could have read that better to make that make more sense. I'm sorry. I failed. It it ripped up. Yeah. 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 Uh, and this has a, a Legends of Runeterra level up quote, too. A spectacle of soul fighting on the surface, Viego's tournament harbors a darker purpose, to harness soul power for the god's eye. Viego believes freeing the god's eye manifested on his body will resurrect his wife, but making a deal with a god comes with its drawbacks. Then some quotes here. Uh, the lands beyond are no barrier to my love. Whatever is needed to return a soul to me, she shall have it. She shall have every awakened soul if that is what it takes. Tell me, a soul, what more must I give? That's Seems what his voice sounds like more. with that skin. But <laughs> <laughs> what more do you want? What can I do? <laughs> uh, and this uh, this has a cinematic called "Coming Alive," which is kind of like a uh, ah, ah, yeah. Ah, ah. Coming, coming alive, coming alive. alive. Uh, this was a pretty cool animated cinematic that was like... It was um, really good. Samira kind of fighting up the ranks, and she has a pretty badass fight with with Viego in the cinematic. It was very cool. Watch it. Mm-hmm. Watch it. Watch Do it. it. Do it. Do it. Uh, and then there was um, the, the inclined game I mentioned, Soul Fighter. Uh, <laughs> and I just have the quotes here from him and Samira, because you play Samira in this game, and the final boss is Viego, after you've kind of fought through all the ranks. So this is the announcer. Oh, I think our tournament host just jumped in the arena! This broody fighter loves to take what he can't have, including his own soul power. (laughs) Viego calls it the power of love, but who knows if his wife would agree. He can't let go of the past, and it's gonna turn all that grief into your problem now. Oh... 
Uh, and then you've got some trash talk between Viego and uh, Samira. <laughs> I have been watching you from my tower. Your soul is strong. While you were busy taking notes, I was busy fighting. Which one of us do you think is more warmed up? <laughs> I have little use for training. I possess true power. Huh, <laughs> true power, huh? Let's see it. And then after she beats Viego, which, you know, happened on my first try, no big deal. Uh, he turns into God's Eye Viego. Oh, no. To what? It's not even his final form. God's, God's eye. eye. Is that a different skin? No, Isn't I don't think so. the eye in his chin? Oh. Yeah. I mean, his chest? Is this got that yes, big eye? Yes, the eye on his chest. Eyes are a whole thing up. in this AU. Okay. Oh. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? It's hard to tell what's going on through all the smoke, but our host does not pay me enough for whatever this showdown's shaping up to be. He's sure to pull out all the stops, so be prepared for anything. Let's hear it one last time for Samira, the one-eyed Blaze. Blaze it. Blaze it. <laughs> uh, and God's Eye Viego. I carry her with me always, my lost lovey soul. Now you see my soul's true form. Uh, you carry her? Seems like she's the one doing the heavy lifting. Oh. <laughs> no. She is but a broken reflection, yet with the eye's full strength restored. Ugh, you and your precious eye. You borrowed your power, Viego. I earned mine. Oh, shit. That's good trash talk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then, that, so that's it for that at you. Finally, we have Lunar New Year, Lunar Beast. Each year, a mischievous Lunar Beast arrives in the mortal realm, drawn into the New Year's celebrations. In each year, the corresponding lunar god selects a squad of chosen champions to lead the beast on a merry chase and protect the city from the creature's playful rampage. Uh, the lunar parade is a beloved part of the New Year's festivities, and the beast itself uh, brings good luck once it has been lulled to rest by the squad's efforts. When a lunar beast is well-entertained and well-rested, it always signals a prosperous New Year. Um, there's a cool cinematic for this where they do just that. Uh, but this is Lunar Beast Viego, who is not in that cinematic. <laughs> Former what's leader. What's the, the, like, uh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, you. go ahead. Uh, what's the gist? Is it just, like, Lunar New Year colors? Is it... Uh, what makes so, it Lunar New Year? They have a bunch of Lunar New Year events within, um... They're, they're timed around the actual Lunar New Year, but they have, like, right. several different types of in-game uh, iterations of what kind of Lunar New Year is in, in various AUs. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is just kind of how... And, and I think this one, too, if they... If they lull the, the beast um, into, you know, sank... Uh, b -b 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 you know, uh, sleep, sleepy time. Yeah. Sleepy time. Sleepy time. <laughs> sure. Yeah. It's in, like uh, they have a toddler that they have to get to sleep. They have to get yeah. all the energy out, right? <laughs> it kind of powers the city for the year, too. That's mm -hmm. kind of their Lunar New Year version of this. Okay, so visually it's just an in-game thing. It doesn't look anything like a... It does real... kind of actually have Lunar New Year colors most okay. of the time, too, like a gold and red, and um, this, oh. this one has some blues mixed into blue. it. I don't know. Blue. Yeah. yeah, this yeah. one's more blue. A lot of them are usually red, but... Yeah, a lot a lot of them are normally sense. like red, red and gold, yeah. which are kind of the more typical Lunar New Year colors, but mm -hmm. this one adds blue. <laughs> it splashes <laughs> in for a bit of character. All right. Just curious. Sorry, yeah. you can continue. Oh, no worries. This is uh, Lunar Beast Viego, former leader of a past Lunar Ox squad, Viego decided that they would fight the Lunar Beast and actually defeat it instead of just, uh, you know, lulling it to sleep. Um, his plan ended in tragedy as he watched the rest of his squad be devoured, including his wife. Viego has stewed in bitterness over these losses for years, blaming everyone but himself, including this year's Lunar Ox squad. Um, for the record, Isolde and Fiora's father were both part of his team that got devoured that year. Mm -hmm. uh, they really need they're, like not, a... they're not sisters, right? Those are two different people. Yeah. <laughs> the fathers are... Okay, just checking. Right, right. That would be weird. 
We need a random Viego skin that's like totally different from his real lore. Right. Because all of his skins are pretty Where's, similar to his, his dead lore. wife. Yeah. You know yeah. What? I, he needs to be like a wedding DJ or we something. We need Space like Groove that. Viego. Yeah, Space was, Groove Viego. This one makes me think of like, I would love him as like a league player who is like just that person who's com- completely miserable to play with because they're just constantly blaming anything but themselves. Right? And like, I love that. The top laner teammate. who constantly loses lane and blames Jungle. Yeah. Does he have one of the, the like, Dark Academia skins. No, no that's no. it. That's yeah, those are actually no, all the skins. Oh, really? He'd be really good in that. In that he area. would just sort of visually fit. I don't yeah, he would I think for so. sure. Yeah, I just assumed he would have had it. Right? Maybe in the future. Yeah, that'd be good. He'll be that's like an angry gym line. teacher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or like a? Wouldn't he be like a principal or something? Or a drama teacher, he, right? Like he would teach like mm-hmm. the drama, theater arts, or something. Just trying to He'd take like attendance. Like Where that. is she? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a good one. <laughs> All right, now we got a handful of fun facts. Y'all want some fun facts? Yeah, there's so many. Yeah. So many. Uh, Diego is voiced by uh, Sean Tial. Nice. Um, and Diego's narration in Metal is Born is voiced by the same voice actor. Mm. Metal is Born? Yeah, which I think... Oh, the... Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, now, Diego is manalist because Riot felt like it would be difficult to keep track of mana between his transformations. Oh, that makes sense. Mm, yeah. yeah. So I don't know if you know this about him, Sarah, but, you know, when he kills someone, he can take over their body and just become that champion for a little bit. It's fucking wild. Right. right? Yeah. It's very confusing. I, that, I remember that. I don't know <laughs> anything about how it works. I've never played it. <laughs> Me neither. Yeah. Here are several scrapped Viego abilities. He used to have an ability that allowed him to possess allies and move them around the map. What? I like that. <laughs> He had an ability. I don't know. That I'm allowed... already confused by him, so that would right. just sounds <laughs> right. more confusing. Quick, I move. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. This is already me whenever I get eaten by Tom Kench. Yeah. Mm. That's uh, for those people ability... who think they're better than their teammates. Right? Like, ah, oh, fuck. Let me do right. this. It's very I'll on walk brand. You into the enemy fountain. <laughs> you're better. That's here. probably why they didn't put it in so easy to troll with. Hmm. Uh, he used to have an ability that allowed him to pass through walls if there was black mist attached to him. Oh, okay. Hmm. Um, and he had a passive where he would start the game with a Blade of the Ruined King item. The item. The full inventory. item, Blade of the Ruined King. Now, the item would have its old slow passive, like the... Um, and Fiego would have to collect souls to make it stronger. All right, that makes more sense. So this would always, okay. this would also change the sword visually. Mm. So it would start as a small dagger and eventually would turn into Ooh. its current sword. Kind of like a Victor setup. Okay, interesting. Yeah, That's like we're old that. Victor anyway. Old yeah. Victor. And old Rengar, I guess, because that used to also be yeah, a you're, item well, slot. <laughs> he had like a necklace or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. Wild. Yeah. Diego has a younger visual design because uh, they thought a young vain king would be more likely to be someone who would damn the world in hopes of bringing back his lost <laughs> love as well as subvert the trope that kings are old and wise. Yeah. Like this oh, one's I think young and dumb and, and full shitty. of... <laughs> <laughs> That's a McElroy reference there. <laughs> You're welcome. That was great. That was just for me, and I know it was. That was just you. for you, baby. Mm. Uh, Viego's visuals were inspired by goth rock and heavy metal singers. <laughs> mm. Sure. Okay. Uh, Viego appears in the Shard of Hope Legends of Runeterra card with the Sold and Rise. Yeah, it's one of the rune, rune shard things. Right? I remember we talked yeah. about this with Rise. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Viego was in his early 20s during the ruination. Oh. It's a very and emotional was, time in life. I was very doing emotional time. shit in my early 20s. <laughs> you weren't even damning the whole world. I what know, were you doing? Right? What the hell was I doing? Meeting you, I guess. Hmm. <laughs> uh, one of the cu- We mentioned that Viego was trying to like find all these cures for Isolde and spent all the kingdom's wealth to do it. One of the cures he purchased was a spell that prevented Isolde's corpse from decaying. Oh, which is how useful. You know, you mm. know, he was able to actually get her to 
the Blessed Isles without her just kind of got a bottle of formaldehyde. <laughs> <laughs> Behold, this new magic is just <laughs> poof, some mortuary's assistant comes in. <laughs> uh, now, Sanctity, we mentioned. Sanctity is his sword. It's been passed down for generations. It's a royal weapon passed down to all the kings. Uh, so when a new king um, is in- incarnated, it absorbs a part of their soul in order to revive them should they get fatal injuries in battle. Um, so when Isolde stabbed Viego in the heart, the magic of the blade tried to revive him at the same time that the magic of the blessed water tried to revive him. Uh, but due to the soul inside the blade, it couldn't do anything and it created a feedback loop of magic that overloaded the uh, waters and caused the ruination. Sure. I remember the feedback loop. I don't remember the the soul and the the sword bit, but uh, yeah, no. I think that was like, I don't remember that specific bit either because I know that when we had talked about the ruination, part of our our thought about the feedback bit was that one thing that the soul the sword also does was it essentially sucks up the soul of anyone stabbed mm-hmm. with it. Um, so we thought that like her stabbing him. You know, the sword was trying to suck up his soul as the water was trying to cure like him. Revive and that's him, what yeah. caused the feedback loop. Um, but, this uh, feels like a very, like, people who are into techie stuff trying to design magic. Like, right. No one yeah. tested this magic. No one did rate compatibility. <laughs> who QA'd this? I was going to say, this is why we need a QA team. <laughs> And then what Try happened? Turning it, it off just and like on again. glitched out, you know, it's not... <laughs> they didn't plug in the sword. <laughs> what are you Googling? Oh, okay. Oh, oh God. Uh, John just Googled pate, pate by accident. No, it's, it's totally on purpose. I just like to... You know, it's never a bad time to learn more about pate. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite thing about pate? How can I choose just what is there? it, old livers? I don't remember what pet old, It looks like cat food. Li- That's all I know about it. <laughs> I mean, so much it's cat food liver, right? is, like is like labeled as pate. So That's true. Strong association. It's old there. livers. I don't know. We get all the old livers and we grind them up and we sell <laughs> I don't know. Like, like happy hour is just like weird fish eggs. Old, I don't know. It's just, I was yeah. thinking like foie gras. That's what I was thinking of. Oh, maybe uh, I'm thinking of foie gras. Uh, What's the well, difference it's, between... I think pate is like a form. It's like it's like in a, a, a medium... It's being served to you in the pet day. I don't well, know, man. French I wish I could paste. answer that question yeah. for I have you. No, I accidentally just Googled it, but I didn't read any they're of talking it. About. Yeah, what, what are we, what are we trying? What were, you, what were you trying this to find? This episode's not long enough. Oh, he was putting the pa- opening up the Patreon, but he actually. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Anyway, uh, so Viego's visuals I mentioned were first revealed in the Ruined King announcement trailer, but the character itself has existed since 2012. From what the, from the Twisted Tree Line remake? Like yeah. you see him? No, but it was the no. First he's always just ruined to him. him. Yeah. Oh shit! And they actually okay. talked about him being a person and not just a weapon. Wow. Yeah. All right. And finally, his champion theme features a segment of the song "Blade of the Ruined King" by oh. Pentakill. Oh, neat. Oh, that's pretty cool. Hmm. I don't yeah. think I actually listened to it. Yeah. No, I haven't yet either. Although I will have by the time people are hearing this, because <laughs> it will be the intro of. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, that's Viego. That's Viego. That's How Viego. we feeling? We feeling good? Thank you so much for joining Mark's us today. Tired. I'm just tired. I'm worn yeah, out. it's a yeah, long one for... to join us for. Yeah. A little bit. This is past my bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. Or there's a lot of yawns going around. Sorry. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. off, I don't. I don't. Welcome. I don't. Okay. I don't know what you wanted for me uh, being here, but I hope I was entertained. No, no, it was you it, honestly. No, it was like no, genuinely you were not entertaining. No, that's, no, that's <laughs> no, not. What happened. It was really nice to have someone like actually provide fee- like. Oh, that's how it worked because we've talked about this so many sure. times. I don't even know yeah. how we would all just stare at each other yeah. and go you over the story here. Yes. Yeah. I like wanted. To, I wanted to tell you about the story because, like, not all of it's bad. Yeah. There's some good parts, I guess. <laughs> That's Diego, everybody. Thanks for listening. You convincing yourself here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> More than you think. Yeah. Um. Anyway. The, oh, phone. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, my phone made a dingy sound. What a jerk. 
my bird was telling me it's time to unwind for bed. Ah. <laughs> Good anyway, tip. that was ah, Viego. That was Viego. Thank you for listening. We have a Twitch. <laughs> it's twitch.tv slash loreheads. Um, generally, John streams on Saturdays. He does TFT and ARAMs with viewers. I am starting to do Bandletail, and I really want to be streaming that whole adventure. I don't know how entertaining it is. It's a very like chill, cozy game, but I'm just kind of hanging out. And playing Bandletail, you can see my first four-hour bit of that on Twitch, and we'll probably put it on YouTube, although I haven't done it yet. I wish I could give you a schedule on that one, but I just don't know what nights are going to be good for streaming right now, so who knows. Otherwise, my usual streaming will be on Mondays in the future. We'll probably do Summoner's Rift together, um, John and, and Mark and a couple friends or something like that. We're just going to get really angry about the tank and bruiser meta, and it's great. ADC life, baby. Yeah, sorry, honey. You don't have to ADC. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> you don't love it. You I don't have to it. do it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, oh, oh no, never mind. We uh -oh. have uh -oh. we have a YouTube. Sorry, I drank the whole sangria bottle. Aww, <laughs> I'm having a good time. Those were hard hitters. <laughs> they are. We ended up getting a giant bottle we did of get it. Two giant bottles of oh, it. Oh, beautiful. That's oh, John, two John giant only bottles. had one glass. Oh. Um. I, but I drank the leftover little one that you left here. Little one. It's, it's good. the size of a beer, and it's the strength of a very strong wine. That's <laughs> <laughs> a beer stronger than wine. Yeah. Uh, we have a YouTube. We post clips and, and the video here. If you want to see all of our beautiful faces, you can check out our YouTube. So sorry. Don't go to the YouTube. I made a real sexy face. <laughs> we have a Discord. Have check it out on YouTube. <laughs> If you want to find some people to play League with or chat about the lore or post weird beams that I don't understand, please join the Discord. And we have a Patreon. As John said in the beginning, we changed our Patreon tier, but any bonus episodes now, audio or video, we have lots of little fun things on there. It's $5 a month for mm. bonus episodes. We recently, it should be up soon, we reacted to the Earth uh, match that they did. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, the really enjoyed yeah. that. Earth yeah. My uh, spatula is still here from when I was <laughs> <laughs> reacting to that. That was a lot of fun. Um, and we will very shortly be recording us doing all of the champion impressions from A through F that we had not done. Yes, we started at Fiora. Because so we gonna started doing that Fiora. So great. we'll probably be drunk for that one as well. <laughs> as we maybe blindly do all of the impressions. Oh, I'm try trying to decide if I want to yeah, listen we to them all to, yeah. or not. Uh, I mean, I probably like heard most of Wait, them. Wait, are you doing all of them or just the ones that you've skipped? We skipped. Oh, the ones just we skipped. skipped. Yeah. Just yeah. Ones you, okay. Yeah. But, yeah. but you've but skipped a lot. Fun. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You wouldn't you. think A through F would be a lot, but it's like... But, it's a lot yeah. of champions. It's a lot it's, of champions. It's at least 35, I think, last time. <laughs> oh my god. It's gonna be quite I was gonna say, like, oh, it's gonna be like 20. It's more of an endurance <laughs> contest than anything, if you think about it. That's true. We haven't for recorded that one yet, the but in the future, that will be the next one. We're trying to get, like, one thing out a month, something like that. But, you know, we have movie reviews for other video game movies. We watched the Players Show, which is, like, League Esports, and we talked about that. And, yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff on there. Yeah. Uh, That's a really so good much. show. That show was fucking good, dude. <laughs> like, yeah. better than I expected it to be. Yeah. Thank you, patrons. <laughs> oh, and a very special thank you to our Madarda tier patrons. Big Man Gnomes, John Has a Dig Bick, King of Hearts, and Mr. Dead. If you were um, a, a citizen of the Blessed Isles when Fiego came by and I was his top general and he asked me to kill you, I would also spare you, but I would also not bear my back to Hecarim, so I would live and save your lives too. Ooh. So, I mean, you wouldn't let him up off the one. mat. You wouldn't, you wouldn't give him a second chance? Nope. Not even a little bit. <laughs> yeah, fucked. Uh, that is patreon.com slash league of lore heads, by the way. Beautiful. Um, are, what are we, do we know what we're doing next week? Are we going to do a Q&A? Do we want to... Yeah, I think we were talking oh, about yeah, it because yeah. we are... Uh, we're, we're hitting a million hit downloads yeah. this week. Uh, One and many O's. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we talk, give we, it a try. We'll, we're going to post something in the Discord and probably on Twitter, too. Just kind of a, another kind of Q&A opportunity. So if you have any questions at all... Or you want us to, like, read a story that we missed. Or, like, maybe go over a story that we haven't talked about in a while. Or, yeah, um, yeah, yeah sure. any questions for us. And this like that. episode's for you. Yeah, we kind of want to celebrate um, hitting a million downloads. And 
we're pretty excited about that. So, it's wild, man. Um, you can also email leagueoflorheads at gmail.com if you have a question, or you can, um, yeah. Do you guys get a lot of Twitter emails? Posts. No. I don't know, do we? So I will notice <laughs> if we get an email. <laughs> Spam it. I'm going to start emailing you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I might I not notice a DM on Twitter, so I'm very sorry. Don't DM me on Twitter. Just tag me somewhere. We'll yeah, find just it. Just respond to the thread. We'll, we'll yeah, the thread would be better. Or on Discord. Tag tag uh, one of the lore heads, though, if you do that. If you yeah, want to DM yeah. us, just DM us on Discord. We yeah, that more that's also better. <laughs> sure, yeah. Yeah, any questions? Literally anything. Anything. Yep. Anything. Anything. Any- Bye. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I don't have any other way to oh, end yeah, this episode. Out, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, join us next week as we talk about ourselves. Talk about ourselves, son. <laughs>